All right. Um, today we will talk about moral dilemma, and you should we should talk about this because most of our situations in ethics class are dis are designed in a moral dilemma, and for this lecture we talk about the nature of moral dilemma. Not necessarily that we have to solve it, because we will talk about it later in our in the rest of the semester. All right. What is a dilemma? Ah, the dilemma, sir, it is when every, um, it slides off. Ang dilemma. <laughs> Actually, the dilemma is a situation to which a, def a difficult choice has to be made between two or more alternatives. It is when those moments when you are thinking, if I do this, something bad will happen. If I do that, something bad will also happen. What should I do? So, ka ng mga panahon na maglibog ka kay Kung ay mong buhaton ng sakabutang, nayapan. Kung kanin po din mong buhaton, nasa yapan. Lisod kay ikaw, pag lisod kay mong buhaton, it's a very difficult situation. Makalibog yun na. This is a nature of uh, dilemma. And, uh, yeah, I think you already recognized this meme. Um, I got it from the internet. And this is Thomas the Train. And uh, this is a classic trolley example uh, what is a dilemma? So let's say Thomas a train has always wondered if he has he is a good train. Uh, train or delay? And then as in this fat controller also wondered, butan kan si Thomas ka train or delay? Moto ang gibuhat ni uh, gibuhat ni kani tuander ni ni moto ang gibuhat ni ta tam maning kani fat controller diri iyang gihikot ang lima ka box strangers sa Osaka railroad onya gihigot po niya ang Osaka train conductor diri sa Osaka railroad karon si Thomas kinahanglan siya mo pili kun asa siya padung kinsa may kay bisa kun sayo buhat ton maligsan man gyud niya kay paspas man ni dagan so si Thomas pagunon hunan na dayon this is Thomas the train and he is confronted with a particular moral dilemma and if we can imagine what goes in the mind of a person encountering a moral dilemma, it should be something like this. Uh, oh no, I'm traveling about 120 kilometers per hour. In two minutes, I'm about to hit someone. Choo choo. It's too late to stop now. With this speed, even Pastor Q can no longer stop me. I don't like to kill five people. I, if I go left, strangers will die. If I go right, the train conductor will die. I also don't like the train conductor to die because he is close to me. Are the, are the lives of five people greater than the life of the train conductor? And this is when your reasoning process, your rationality, uh, will try to make justifications why are you doing uh, of your actions whatever say may tabo kinahangan and this is one element of moral dilemma. Um, there is one tendency of human people called na maka moral dilemma ang sa ka tao inani yang na naon. And then, will I become a good train after this? Will kids still subscribe to my YouTube channel? Well, na inana na pangon na because sometimes we need to take care, we need to be particularly um, conscious about the consequences na mahitabo kung ato na irresolve ang moral dilemma because we need to decide and one way to find out if uh, one way for us to know whether our decision is wrong or right is to weigh the, the consequences to be able to calculate the outcomes that comes after your decision and now will people will be sad in whatever decision i make nonetheless so osami mo buhaton diri kon ikaw mo sa tama sa train and is Thomas a good train now or not? We can never be sure. We can still never figure out if whether Thomas is a good train or not until we see blood. I mean, um, until na kay makita na na itabo dere na nakita na na may naligsan or or na, after anita nan kung nani maligsan and then sa ano pagraso ni Thomas and arat tama kay ingon na sakto bagi dito what ni Thomas or day. And this is just a demonstration of what is the nature of moral dilemma. So sort of, inani ay may tabo. And there are three kinds of moral dilemma. Personal moral dilemma, organizational moral dilemma, and structural moral dilemma. Sige, ato na yung tasatak saon para makasabot ta. 
And in order to identify the kind of moral dilemma, it is important to know who will be affected by the decisions made in the situations. All right, the first type of moral dilemma is a personal moral dilemma. It's when your decision in a situation where there is moral conflict and is a cause of either of your own or that of another person or a group of people's potential harm. So kung apiktad mo tiri, kan na lang imong direct na relationship nimo, imong friends, imong family, in kaning tao na kauban nimo sa trabaho, uh, dili na dinatata sa relay para kang amigo nimo sa trabaho, kanang personal nimo na relationships or these people who are directly present with you, bisa stranger na tawhan na pero na ini tabo niya, you are that's also a personal dilemma. Pasa gamay ra ang mga tao na piktado. Okay, here's an example of personal uh, moral dilemma. Let's say in the latest um, ABS-CBN flick, we have uh, Make It With You. We have two characters, si, si, pangani, si Liza Sabiran, na ba? Si, mm, mm, si Billy. Si Billy and Yabo. Billy and God, Kabo, they are the, the protagonists of this uh, new teleserie. And um, they, both of them, the, the scene was shot in Croatia. It's a foreign country. Uh, they are living there. However, despite being of OFWs, um, Liza Saberano here, the character of Billy, they they had a very uh, they have a very difficult life abroad. And if you live in a very difficult life, then you know you have to search for resources and re in for you to survive, for your family to to be to, to be able to sustain these challenges of life. And here comes on the insert character. Here she is, Antonia. Antonia here, once um, yeah, forever alone. Wala siya uyap. And then um, because the gisod na pamilya ni Liza Severano, I need fa I need money for my family. And now um, kinahanglan lo kana kwarta si Liza Severano dere si Lily para mabuhi ang pamilya. And here comes Antonia offering her money. I can give you money. Yeah, yes, please. And say, under one condition, set me up a date with the Gabo. Kaya si, si Antonia, ganaan siya makig-date ni Gabo. And then, iyang i-frame up si, kunang, si Liza Soberano, iyang i-frame up si Gabo, na nakasuod sila, later on, naka-develop slag feelings of satusa. Unya, naglibog na si Kuan. Naglibog na si Liza, diri, or si, kanin, si Billy. Kung iya pag yun, ipadayon ang deal, na dawaton niyang kwarta, in exchange, iyang ibugaw si Gabo. So, should... Maglibog nga si Liza Dere, should I accept this deal or not? If I will accept this deal, I can feed my family. Kaya makapuha man siya kwarta kay ni Antonia. Pero kung dilit niya dawat ton, unfair po kayo ni... Uh, kung niya dawat ton di ay, anang, ang deal, it would be unfair to Gabo. What if he finds out? Uh, Musa may may tabo kung may bawaan ni Gabo na igibugaw siya para ni Antonia. And kaling kasihan na pagkalibog is an example of personal moral dilemma. And there are only a few people involved, just the family of Liza Soberano, Gabo, and Antonia. So, basta yung nanay pa na level, that is a personal moral dilemma. Dili pa kayo yun na nakadaghan ng mga tao na apektado on whatever decision you will make here. I think you is understood. Basta ka mo, si mong friend, inana, yeah, that's personal moral dilemma. Okay, let's proceed to the next example. I mean, to the next moral dilemma. Now, we... We will discuss the organizational moral dilemma. This is when a member or members of organ or an organization in a situation where you have moral conflict and the, and the decision will potentially harm either of the members of the group or the entire organization itself. Okay. Here's an example of an organizational moral dilemma. Let's say uh, in Kadinang Binto, we have Daniela Mondragon, uh, Daniela Bartolome. And after the disappearance of her, her father, Robert Montragon, uh, she inherited the company Camila Sardines. And she's confronted with a problem. Um, malulugi now ang Camila Sardines. And they're because of financial um, decisions that bear. Malulugi ng kompanya nila. And then, one option she's thinking is kailangan ko magtanggal ng mga empleyado dahil upang mababawasan yung gastusin ng aming kampanya. Pero kung iyan ang buhat doon, na yung mga apektado na mga workers, ay ilang mga trabahante, reklamo gina sila, Madam Daniela, paano naman kami? Anong kakainin ng pamilya namin? Of course, sardinas. <laughs> Onya, kakanig kalibog na naasasod sa huna-huna na ikan ng kuhan ni Daniela Mondragon, 
mo ni siya gitawag na organizational moral dilemma kay dili lang siya apektado dili lang iyang anak dili lang iya ha pamilya kundi apektado po ni ang mga tao na nagtrabaho sa Camila Sardines inani e, ganin na level kung ang daghan ang tao na apektado uh, dili dili lang a small group of people not only those people who are directly con connected to you you are now confronted with a more um, orga organizational moral dilemma when we we talk about companies or institutions like VSU or your your club for example Masa madaot na ganyan na yung grupo na daghan ng daghan daghan ng tao apektado you are now confronting with an organization organizational moral dilemma and of course also my response to Daniela Dere knowing her inani ginimit tabo magsilayas kayo mga sa paningin ko mga hapas lupa pero yeah this is an example basta basta kumpanya gani organization or yung club or yung simbahan or whatever gani na na ay institution na hold na this glue all a group of people together then you are now confronting with the organizational moral dilemma. Now let's proceed, proceed to the next example, and the next type of moral dilemma, the structural moral dilemma. Now, in a structural moral dilemma, mas taas taas na siya na level. Dili ni siya pariya sa organizational na kumpanya lang, simbahan, or kana organization, or your lowly club, or Dili po ni pariya sa personal moral dilemma na ang katurang directly connected ni mo apektado. Here in a structural moral dilemma, we are talking about uh, the group the group of people who hold high level position. You are the mayor, you are the president of a country, and then ang apektado, entire populations. We are not talking about statistics here. We are talking about uh, like thousands of people who will be affected by the kind of decision you're trying to make in this kind of dilemma. Here's an example of a structural moral dilemma. Let's say, the Kaliwa Dam, for example, um, is, a, is a typical example of, Kali, of a structural moral dilemma. And let's say, uh, President Duterte would decide whether to sign the bill to proceed with the Kaliwa Dam project or not. Because um, if I will not sign the Kaliwa Dam project, Metro Manila, home of over 14 million Filipino people, will have scarcity in the water supply. But if you firmahan to uh, there will be ecological damages in the Sierra Madre Mountains, and the people living in in on those region will be displaced from their homes. There are there are actually a lot of communities na malubong siya sa tubig, malunod sa tubig tungod kay kay mo on siya ang dam, mapugong siya sa river, and then there are there will be water level will go up, and then kung atubig maabot sa yung panimalay, of course, madisplaced kasi sila. So what should the 30 do? Should you should sign the bill to pursue with this Kaliwa Dam project or not? This is an example of a structural moral dilemma. I think just recently, if you can remember uh, very well, uh, there's another type of structural, uh, just another example for a structural moral dilemma, katong coronavirus na outbreak. Uh, the Philippines, uh, under the leadership of President Duterte, is um, they're developing a very close tie with China. Unfortunately, there's a virus outbreak, this novel coronavirus. One option that they have to decide now is whether to, to ban this Chinese na mga tourists from mainland China to our shores, to, to, the, to the Philippines. Pero kung ilan ni Iban, um, the country, the Philippines, will be losing some um, opportunities to develop these diplomatic ties with them. Pero kung imo iban, mas safe ta against the virus sa uh, Pilipinas. Kay dili, we, we limit the number of travelers from mainland China to our country. So what should you do? China is one of the biggest investors in our country. If we, if we ban them immediately, this could negatively affect the relationship between China and the Philippines. So that is an example of a structural moral dilemma when we talk about large populations and a lot of people who will be affected of whatever decision he on by this leader and uh, by this uh, person, uh, this uh, personality. Now, we will have an exercise of identifying what kind of moral dilemma are NASA examples. And um, here in the pictures, I will, um, I will describe each situation. I think it's just as part of the lecture. You can remember them very well. Okay, the the first assignment I gave you about the case of Michael, uh, that after hacking his computer, 
in order in search for the file you found out na naay anomalya gihimo sa Michael what kind of imo ba isum imo isumbong siya di kay kung imo isumbong masakpan nga lang hakka pero kung imo dili nimo isumbong mapadayon ang kabuang ni Michael na malugi yung kompanya so what kind of moral dilemma is this yes you're correct that's organ organizational moral dilemma this one um, struggle of the uncast drivers now let's say you are the DOTR secretary whether you have to ban Ancas to as an alternative um, in a, to ban Ancas to operate or not if you will ban Ancas um, a lot of people will be losing their livelihood and at the same time regular commuters will lose an, an alternative form of transportation pero kung dili po nimo iban ang Ancas kani mga transportation franchises like this one well, magbunda ko ilang ulo kay in fairness to them, ANCAS is not really following the law all the time. They thought na they already have permit, when in fact, the permission given by the government to them was only to operate as a test drive. Like the testingan ba ko, kinutanay ba na effective ang alternative form of transportation just like ANCAS. What will you do? What kind of moral dilemma are you facing here as a DOTR secretary? Yes, it is a structural moral dilemma. Well, what if you are a member of this ANCAS group, uh, ANCAS driver group, and then you need to join a rally. Kaya kung dili ka mo sa rally, pas hindi li effective ang inyo ha pagkibisog against this government na possibly mo bans in your means of livelihood. What kind of moral dilemma are you facing? Yes, it is a structural moral dilemma, okay, whether you participate in the rally or not. What if you're you're one of the drivers and then your wife? Um, prohibits you to join the rally or else uh, she will profit any kind of relationship you have with anyone. What kind of moral dilemma are you facing here? Then that is a kind of personal moral dilemma. Okay, let's proceed for more examples. Here, all right, let's suppose you are a Dalagang Pilipina and you have a fiancé who is a Muslim. And then, um, yeah, you know, Muslim, like, hello, dear. I love you so much, I want you to be my port wife. And despite the fact that you are living in a Christian countries like our, you imo gipalaila sa yung papa, ang imo hang pamanhunon. However, your father said, No, I will not allow you. It's not it's against our culture. And dili ko musugot na ikaupat kang asawa niya. What kind of moral dilemma this dalagang Pilipina is facing? Yes, that is a personal kind of moral dilemma. This one, suppose you are the groom here. You are now in the wedding ceremony, you're before the altar. And then there's this girl, and he passes sa, ni, ni, to the aisle, ni Shagit, itigi lang kasal! And now you better to proceed the, with the wedding, na palong na kasi mo lawfully wedded wife, or to go after this girl that tinud anagi ka na higugma. What kind of moral dilemma are you facing here? Yes, it is a personal type, personal moral dilemma. Next, um, you are pre suppose you are President Trump, you are about to launch a nuclear missile to Iran, for example. And if you do that, a lot, a lot of people will be dead. Okay, in the nuclear radiation, and you know, it takes years to, do, to decontaminate a particular area. But if you won't do it, you know, opponents against the U.S. will, they will say, oh, the U.S. It's just a bluff. There's no such thing as a nuclear weapon. And it will weaken your military power if you want, if you want not launch this nuclear missile. What kind of moral dilemma Trump is facing here? Yes, it is a obviously it is a structural moral dilemma. Suppose you are the CEO of Google, and then one option for you to to increase productivity of your company is to replace your human uh, resources with robots and artificial intelligence. If you do that, a lot of people will be losing jobs. If you won't, and then uh, probably productivity in the company would remain um, stagnant. What kind of moral dilemma? Yes, it is an organizational moral dilemma. Let's say you are a panelist in the UN and you're about to endorse the benefits of AI to other countries. But if you do that, you know, there will be changes in the structural level and unemployment levels will, grow, will skyrocket if you will replace everything with robots and artificial intelligence. 
what kind of moral dilemma are you here facing if you are the uh, you know, one of the panelists of the UN endorsing to a particular country or nation state? That is a structural moral dilemma. And uh, it is a personal moral dilemma if you're in love with a robot and you know that your feelings are genuine and you cannot just stop this burning desire in front of you. And because every time you you are puzzled, you are amazed in this this outstanding, vivid, um, anthropomorphic resemblance that tao ginitanao ni robot. But you are confused whether to want to pursue your feelings because people might be weirded out. Yeah, weird when you talk about the robot. What kind of person? Uh, what that kind of moral dilemma? Yeah, that's personal moral dilemma. Here, um, you are the head doctor of the hospital, and there's a patient here with zero 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 one percent chance of survival. Would you accept this patient or not? Because if you will accept this patient, there's a chance that this patient will die. There's a high chance that this patient will die. And other people might say bad things about your hospital. Makaingo na sila na, ah, dito ba hospital dire, ay, kayo tiwas santa. But if you won't do that, um, you will, uh, if if you will don't do that, you will be accused now. You're not performing your duty as a doctor that you need to save the lives of people at all costs. So what kind of moral dilemma are you facing here? Yeah, so the head of the doctor of the hospital, you are facing um, organizational moral dilemma. Here, uh, let's say you are, uh, you're no longer the doctor, you are this relative of the dying patient. The doctor said that this guy, your relative, will die soon. And hopefully, uh, and then, and then uh, you are about to decide whether to increase, to extend the patient's life. But you need to pay uh, this burgeoning uh, hospital bills. Then maglibog na ka. Oh, imo po siya tantang sa hospital. I mean, you have to dismiss this person to the hospital. Mo gamay na yung lifespan, and then mamatay na siya. And but you can say funny. What would you, what kind of moral dilemma are you facing here? Yes, it is a personal moral dilemma. And now, yeah, in the province, na for example, um, Cardo, Cardo. The si, si Cardo, he is, he is a police officer. One of his best friends is Joaquin, also a police officer. He found out that Joaquin um, is involved with drugs. And as his best friend, they, they, he needs to confront him or not. Um, what kind of moral dilemma uh, Cardo is facing here? Kaya kung iyan ito bangon si Buad, iyan ang lakpon si Joaquin, madawat ilang panag-ibiguhay. Pero kung dili niya ka na dakpon si Joaquin, madawot ang pangalan sa polis, sa PNP, na naiusa na nila ka kauban na involved sa drugs. Now here, this is an example that nag-converge na, nag-overlap na ang kinds of moral dilemma into different levels. This example is a, is a, is a personal and at the same time an organ, organizational moral dilemma. It's the same thing as here, when Cardo has his secret mission, and then Aliana has doubts about her relationship as husband and wife. Cardo, uh, Cardo here, he has his top secret mission that bis na idili po di sulti ni bisan kinsa bisan pa bisan pa siyang asawa. Unya si Aliana de ganas ultimatum. Usa magina mo mission kundi li buwag nata. What kind of moral dilemma um, Cardo is facing here? Yes, of course, it is the same. Or, um, organizational and at the same time personal. And it's also the same here. Um, si President Hidalgo, yan yung ipangasawa si Lily and then um, ibaw ananay anomalia gibuhat ni Bayhana. But as the President of the country, he needs to he, need, he needs to confront Lily because madaot ang iyahang leadership kung na ay usakabuang ni Apilapil sa iyong relationship. But nagigugma man siya sa niya ni Bayhana. What kind of moral dilemma uh, President Hidalgo is facing here? And now it is um, both structural and personal. And you see here now that the examples of Provincial show shows moral dilemma can transcend into different levels at the same time. And we have more examples. In the anime world, in One Piece, for example, uh, the, the decision of Luffy's decision to burn the Blowing Mary uh, in exchange for a new ship is an example of an organizational and personal moral dilemma. Personal because uh, the going Mary is also 
one of their nakamas. They consider it a threat. But it's also organizational because they belong to the pirate group. It's the same thing here with the Ned Stark's dilemma when uh, King Robert Baratheon summoned him to go south to King's Landing. Robert Baratheon is his best friend. And then uh, if he wants to go south of, of Winterfell, there's a chance that he might die there like what happened to his father and his brother. But kung pada yung pamilya siya, malipay yung pamilya sa Winterfell. Pero kung dili, pero possibly nga mad kana mamatay ang yung best friend na si King Robert Baratheon kay bago raman namatay ang hand of the king. Now he wants him to replace uh, John Arryn who just died uh, in King's Landing as the hand of the king. Who was there was an insider there na nagingon na kuan kaning nay ano man iya gibuhat. So unsa may imong buhaton diri? What kind of moral dilemma? I did say button. What kind of moral dilemma Ned Stark is facing here? That's both structural because it has something it concerns with Westeros and the the you know the the future of the realm. At the same time it is personal and it has a decide, something to decide whether he wants to leave his family behind or not. And is it possible to, that all three levels of moral dilemma that can converge into a situation? Yes, it is very possible. Here's an example. Uh, let's say uh, Duterte and her daughter Sara Duterte having a conversation. And what if one day Sara Duterte will say, If you will not sign the divorce bill, I will get out of the PDP Laban party. Except, disclaimer, this is an example. This is just fiction. This is not happening in real life. But what if? This is both, and this is all of the three uh, moral dilemma. This is an example when the transcendent anan is personal because madaot in the relationship as father and daughter. It is organizational. If muhawa si Sarah Duterte sa PDP Laban Party, it will weaken the organization, their political party. And mahibong na sila na, oy, even the daughter, uh, mag-away gapon sila, even bloodlines could not cement the relationship and the cohesion between uh, within the PDP Laban Party. And of course, it is a structural moral dilemma because a divorce bill will potentially affect uh, the entire Filipino population. So this is an example when a moral dilemma can transcend into three different levels, personal, organizational, and structural. And the key of identifying the moral dilemma is to ask a question, who will decide and who will be affected? Kinsa may mo decide o kinsa may mapektado? Hinanaragin na simple in order for you to identify what kind of moral dilemma. So in conclusion, you know now the following things. Um, we learned the nature of moral dilemma. Kibaugi ka is about malibog ka. And you know the three different kinds of moral dilemma. Personal, structural, and organizational. And you know the type Kibaw na kausap at identify kay mga tanda ba kinsa ang decide o kinsa apektado, and you also know that it's highly possible that moral dilemmas can transcend into three different levels, and pwede siya both and pwede all three. So that's the end of our lecture today. Uh, please click like, and if you have questions, please uh, put a comment be uh, comment below, and please subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can track down our lectures later on. Bye bye.